Hello everyone, we will continue the topic function module and in the previous video, we took one exception in the exception tab of the function module. We raised the exception, we called the function module again through the pattern button. If some exception is raised, size sub RC will be not equal to zero and we gave one error message. For the best understanding, we will see this flow in the debugging mode. So I will put a breakpoint. I will run the program. Suppose first input 10, second input is zero. I will go to execute. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. First input is 10, second input is zero. I want to go inside this function module. I will do F5. F5 is step-by-step -step execution. So first input is 10, but second input is zero. Whenever any of the input is zero, it will raise the exception. You can see it is raising the exception not underscore zero. Whenever this exception will raise, you can see what is the value of psi sub rc. Psi sub rc is one because what is the number of what is the number of the exception not underscore zero? It is one. Now psi sub rc is not equal to zero, so this if condition is true, and it will simply simply give this message. And what is the message? Yes, inputs cannot be zero. Suppose if I will go for right scenario now. I will go to SC38 again. Now I will not raise the exception. I will simply, simply go for correct input. Suppose I am saying 20 and 30. So suppose 20 and 10. I am executing the program. I will go to desktop 3. Now, first input 20, second input 10. It will go to first parameter of the function module. It will go to second parameter of the function module. Here it is export. It means in the function module, it will be import. I'm doing F5. I'm inside the function module. Now, none of the input any of the input is not zero. It is not zero. So system will simply, simply go to which part? Else part. It will make some. What is P output? P output is 30. Now you can see size sub RC is zero. Size sub RC is not equal to zero because none of the exception is raised. If size sub RC is equal to zero, system will go to else part and it will simply simply print the result 30. So now we have the output is 30. Now the most most important part maximum time people ask yes. So what we did in the previous video we added the exception part later to the function module. Now maximum time people ask okay we added the exception to the function module, but if we are not calling again through pattern button, then what will happen? Just understand it is a golden rule in every programming language. If you are raising the exception, it should always, always be handled, always be handled. If we are not handling system will throw a runtime error. It is a golden rule in every programming language. Suppose simple. In this function module, we raise the exception. We raise the exception. But if we are not doing the handling part, system will throw runtime error because you are raising and you are not handling. Suppose simple. We call the function module again through the pattern button and exceptions came automatically. Suppose I'm commenting this part. I'm making the program as it is. Suppose this was the pr 
previous this was the previous logic it's a very very important understanding it's a golden rule always if something is raised it should always always be handled now you can see handling part is commented exceptions are commented i have not handled the exception we only only raise the exceptions so suppose now if i will put the breakpoint and i will run i'm going for 20 and 0 now system we will go inside this function module now you can see first input is 20 second input is 0 so system will simply go for if condition is true system will raise this exception whenever system will raise this exception have we done any handling part for the same no exception part is commented in our program now you can see system is simply throwing what error runtime error so it's a golden rule always in a BAP object oriented programming this topic will make more more sense because in a BAP object oriented programming it's all about raising and handling it's also the same to same concept in function module also whenever you are raising always always do the handling part else system will go into a runtime error so we need to we need to go for this exception part we need to go so we need to uncomment this exception and based upon exception raised we are giving the message this is our different part this is our additional part that whenever the exception is raised whenever the exception is raised we are going for this error message but this exception should be there if you are adding to the function module else system will throw a runtime error so what is the summary of the video in this video we understood the full flow in the debugging mode when we gave any of the input is any of the input is zero how the function module is raising the exception, how the exception number is not equal to zero, and how we are giving the message. If none of the input is not equal to zero, yes, we are simply, simply printing the result. And then at the last, we covered one of the most important point. If you are raising something, in this function module, we raise the exception. So it should always, always be handled. This part should always, always be there. If you will not go for handling part, system will simply, simply throw the runtime error. So this exception needs to be there, needs to be there. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will go for few more learnings of the function model. So that's it in this video. Thank you.